Yo, it's the world, it's the buddy kid, Jaden Taylor. Right now, you locked in with Red Cages. Yo, today on Red Cages, we got my boy Jaden Taylor in the building. You good, my boy? What's the word? What's the motherfucking deal? What's going on, my boy? Good on, bro. Thug and thug. What y'all got going today? Same old shit, man. Appreciate you coming out here to tap in with me and Smoke. Shit, you know, we've been trying to get you for like a week or so now. I fought Robin. You all good. Like, finally pull up. Yeah, man. I know you're a busy, busy man. I'll be seeing you work. So, shit, right, I'm facts. knowing how, how, how it is. Yeah. You're good. You're busy. You feel right, me? Ah, facts. Try to be busy than not busy. For my mama. For sure. But um, people people at home probably don't know about your story and um, what, what you do. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring you on today. Because yeah. I fuck with your shit. And before the um interview started, you actually was letting us hear a bunch of shit, gang. I didn't know you had that much shit. Yeah. And it ain't no just a bunch of hype shit. It's a bunch yeah. of good ass music. So. Bunch of hot music. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate I didn't even know you be going that fucking hard, gang. Nah, so um I feel I'm crazy. you can just start off telling us, you know, where you where you grew up at and how life and shit was for you. Shit, like first. Like, I grew up in the age, like Missouri City, you feel me? But I moved like everywhere, like A League, like Dead End, you feel me? Like everywhere, mm-hmm. you feel me? But like all my people from Baton Rouge, I just stay with my mama out here, you yeah, know what okay. I'm saying? So, like, shit, grew up with my two, whatever. Like, I was probably like seven, and I moved in with my granny, and I've been with my granny ever since, so I should have moved around type shit. So with you moving around Houston to those different neighborhoods, um, which area would you consider like you hopped off the porch in that like you know you like those like stumping grounds that, that you always go back to? For sure, my city. Mo? Yeah. Mo? For sure, yeah. for sure. That's lit. That's lit. Yeah. Hey, um, a little Mo City. Oh bullshit. That's what I said, man. Shout out to all my Mo City niggas, man. <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, facts though. You you um um, I heard you say you was with Granny and shit after you left left your mom. Yeah. Was it um was it something going going on or something that happened that made you go live with your G? My mom was in the streets, hmm. like hard type shit, real bad. She ended up going to prison type shit. Yeah. So I moved with my Granny, and then she I just never went back with my mom when she had got out type shit. What was what was your pop say? Shit, I don't know. Type shit. Type shit. For real. I don't know. I ain't gonna so lie. You just grew up, you and mom. Hey, yeah. Well, not really, like, somewhat, like, a little bit. Then the rest of it was great. like, hey, yeah. Sure. Fuck with uh, Pops now, or you, or you know, y'all still got y'all distant shit going on? I would talk to the old dog. Type shit. Oh, bro. Hey, yeah. That's how it be sometimes. You, um, did you play any, play any sports during the hey, yeah. time? Hey, yeah. I played football, basketball. I ran track for like two days. It's funny as hell. Yes, I ran track for two days. Nah, for real. But nah, I did some shit. I hooped a little bit. I played a little football and shit. What position you played? I played quarterback. Quarterback. Hey, yeah. He was a uh, he was one of them um, RG three niggas, or was you on some Brady shit? I slide to people get up my ass. I was like. I'll take cold pepper. Bro. <laughs> cold pepper. Cold pepper. Oh, I was cool. I wasn't crazy. I was cool. Yeah, I man. did my thing. Whatever. Same you know. shit. Hey, Same yeah. shit. Why you want to stop? Like, did some, did some, well, did you have another calling or something? Basketball. I was fucking on basketball a lot harder. I was like, shit, I was cool at or whatever. I always played up. You feel me? And then shit, I stopped playing basketball. That's what made me get into music. Like, more heavy type shit. You got into music like in high school. Hey, yeah, uh, like my freshman year, I wrote, I like recorded my first song, but I ain't do nothing after that. And remember? probably like three years later, I like want to start recording this shit. Remember your first song? Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, right. hell no. Nah. <laughs> no, like you were like you remember some of the words and shit though. Hell no, nah. I got so many songs. Bro. What was what was the name name of it? I don't remember. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I swear to God, I got so many songs, bro. I got so many songs. I probably got like 250 songs. Damn. Yeah, it's probably. Gucci, man. That's that. Nah, I got some shit. <laughs> nah, for real. Oh, me. Um, so, around what, what age did you say you like fell in love with music? 
I always been in love with music. I don't know why, but I always been in love with it. Like I never knew how much I loved it until I got into it. But, but like I always loved it. Like I used to go to sleep. Like when I stayed with my mom and Ellie, like I used to have like a little radio. We ain't really had shit, you feel me? So I had like a little radio. I go to sleep with the hell like every night with the hell on. Like, it was a point I knew like every song on the radio, like every single song, like yeah, country, cool. like rock, pop, whatever that was on that bitch. I knew the hell because I listened to the radio so much. Yeah. So Swear to God. The flavor and music from yeah, type yeah. shit. And plus, like, you know what I'm saying? I ended up moving with my granny. She played a lot of older shit. You feel mm -hmm. me? That's where a lot of that shit come in too. But, yeah. Who was uh, some of the artists, you know, growing, growing up that kind of made you? Want to even veer off towards music? Nobody really growing up. I want to say more say like high school when the niggas just understood. You know what I'm saying? When they was talking about, it. you know what I'm saying? Probably like um, Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, Biggie, Jay Z, fucking uh, Drake. You know, um, yeah, it's a whole lot of people. Like you know what I'm saying? Niggas started listening to it in high school. That just made me like, man, I can do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. Waking up every day bumping on no that type shit. I ain't gonna lie. player, CD player, what Man, Jacks, <laughs> I fucking, um, I had a little, um, I don't know if y'all know, it was like iPod radio. They used to sell them hoes in the 99 cent store. You talking about them little small ones? Them hoes like different colors and shit, yeah, like yo, FM radio. Hey, okay. You said iPod radio? Yeah, it was like FM radio. It wasn't man. really iPod that's though. Like the nano. Yeah, it wasn't really our part. That hoe was just knockoff, like a 99 cent store type shit. MP3 joints? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. So I heard you mention some fucking greats um, as far as the people who you was listening to during like your time of finding music. Um, who, would, who would you consider your top five? My top five? Music or just like rappers? Um, let's do rappers. Rappers, number one, I'm about to go Drake. Just because ain't nobody got many hits in him. Like, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? That's like R. Kelly type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two, I'm going to go B. Three, I'm going to go Holly Wayne. Four, I'll probably go Jay Z. Five, I'll probably go Pop. Y'all niggas gonna stop disrespecting R. Kelly like he ain't the king of R&B around this bitch. Come on, bro. That shit over still. For real. Still. R. Kelly be going the fuck off. That shit over still. Rubbing booties. Uh, yeah. That nigga said rubbing booties to R&B. Nah, for real. Nah, bro. You sing like a motherfucker. <laughs> nah, that nigga. That nigga hard. His ass, his, his ass can fly too, goddammit. He in jail. He had, well, I don't agree with nothing he did. Oh, wow. You gotta state that. But that's, the music, ain't nobody fucking with him. If you wanna no. be real... So would you say R. Besides Kelly Mike Jackson, besides or Michael Jackson? Jackson? That's, 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 that's the only other that's person. Yeah. That's about it. What? Who, who, who fucking R. Kelly vocally, nigga? Bro, he ain't that good of a singer. He a songwriter. He a hit maker. Yeah, he yeah. ain't that good like, oh my God, his voice. Yeah. Is, it ain't that. Shorty. Let him hear you say that. What he going to do? I'm seeing your ass, nigga. Fuck out of here, boy. <laughs> I'm a, um, what you call it? A, a, a motherfucking alto. I think that's what you call it. When you sing deep on some very gorgeous, very, very white shit. Very white shit. Yeah. I be milking holes with that alto. shit, boy. I need to type, yeah, yeah. You answer the phone in the morning, that's you, huh? No, oh, no, no. I don't, I don't even be on there like that no more. deep in the morning, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit. Um, have you have you had a chance to work with any artists in Houston? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, any like big big names or anybody worth like mentioning? I got some shit with Jeremy. Um, oh, Lil Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Lil Jeremy. Nah, for a shout out Jeremy. What else? Yeah, he probably like the biggest out of Houston. It's I ain't a lot of work with a lot of people, but like. Or as like worth mentioning, like he's probably the biggest. Okay. And then shit, um, I know you be traveling, um, Cali, where else? Um, Atlanta. Nah, fucking, I just came from New York like four days ago. Before that, I was in Canada. Okay. You ever yeah. you ever get a chance to work with any artists, different other spots? Nah, not really. No, nah, not yet. I no. usually be like more so like when I go out there, I just go to work type shit. Work. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, 
Like, was it in Canada? I ain't never even you know, That was cool. It's different. It's a way different Cali, scene. not Canada. Nah, Canada. Now you said Canada. You said Canada? Yeah. Yes. I was, you know, I've been in Cali all the time, though. But yeah. Why you said Canada? Yeah, I just came back from Canada. You was, you was up there with like Tory Lanez people or something? Nah, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell nah. Who you, who you up there chilling with? Shit, I was, I was up there with somebody six? I know and shit. Hey, I was everywhere, like Montreal, Quebec, like I was everywhere. It's a whole different vibe out there, like. I don't know, like, you know, in Houston and shit, you got to, I don't know, niggas be too gangster, you feel me? Shit. You know what I'm saying? I thought niggas dancing and some old shit, yeah. you feel me? Like, niggas ain't, then you down when you walk in the room and shit, like, niggas in that house buying you shots and shit, like, it's crazy that yeah, shit. Nah, that house cool, bro. Whole different scenery type shit, for sure. Damn, that's just lit. I know you said Canada, I thought you said yeah. Cali, bro. Nah. Damn, I'm you... finna go to Cali, though. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, do you do you plan on um? It's like Houston, it for you, or you plan on traveling off and veering veering off to like a new place? Houston will always be it, but like far as me and like what I'm trying to chase and where I'm trying to go, I feel like Houston not where I should be stationed right now. I feel like I should definitely move around, like you know what I'm saying, like go to different cities. You know what I'm saying, touch a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Houston, you only could do so much. It's like if you was in any city and you just stayed there, you only could do so much. You feel me? So it's like, see, you just got to move around. You know what I'm saying? You got to hustle, go actually, you know what I'm saying? Put the work in and network and meet people and build connections and relationships. You know what I'm saying? That could actually help you in the long run. That's you know some hard music, and there's a lot of people that need to hear that shit. Nah, facts. I right, appreciate bro. it, bro. That's some hard visuals yeah. as well, appreciate too. It. Appreciate you got it. a appreciate team it. to, like, market, market your shit? Or yeah. you do all your marketing? Nah, I got a team. Yeah, like yeah, that's what y'all artists need a team. Yeah, y'all hear that? Nah, team. you can't do it by yourself. I did it by myself for like four years, bro. Until I realized like you actually need a team. Like sure, even sure. if it's just three of y'all, you know that's what I'm saying? Mom. And like whenever you post, your partners post. You know what I'm saying? Everything got to be in sync. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And exactly. nothing that I do can be out of sync. Everything, everything when you post and from how you post to how you look and all that, like it's all about the rollout. You know what I'm saying? So and plus the consistency. You know what I'm saying? So well, all that shit matter. Sound like you pretty like serious, serious about this shit. Man, bro, I'm finna take this shit to another level. What um what would you say? Cause I know I I used to do music and you know, sometimes you have spurts where you feel like you wanna go. Yeah. And sometimes you're like, ah, I'm doing this now. What what made you drop everything and say, you know what, fuck it, I'm running with this music shit? My story, and like, um, I know I ain't the only one been through it or going through it, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, the more that I drop, the more my music like reaches different people, like, the more feedback I get. So, like, I, I'm starting to get like a lot of feedback, like, man, bro, this song really like got me through some stuff, type stuff. So, like, I'm just not starting to receive that type of love. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Make you want to keep going because you know, like, damn, like. You for sure ain't the only one going through it. Now you want to reach way more people, you feel me, that's for sure like going through it, but that can't speak about it or too scared, you know what I'm saying? Some yeah, people yeah. listen to their shit through music, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I express myself at least. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak for everybody else. But they feel their pain through somebody facts, else. It's expression. Facts, facts. Is, it, is there any artist that people tell you you um like remind them of? I get um I, I, lately I've been getting J Cole, Rod Wave, Juice World, um, Lil Baby. Um, some people even said Drake, but everybody got their own here. So you would consider yourself more of like a lyricist, because all the people you name, I can't like be. That's like. Like, I can spit if I wanted to. Like, I did that, like, where I had the air just spitting. You feel me? Like, yeah. I feel like I could do I could spit like wine if I wanted to, like, real shit. But, like, I want to make a song. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel that more. You're going to relate to it more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me, bro, I, I make music that I want to hear. You feel me? So, like, once I was able to make, like, the shit that I'm listening to and the shit that's on the radio that I'm actually liking and shit, like, in love with. That's it. That's feeling right there. Okay, it was over. Now I can know I can make anything. Like, and I know I can do shit that like not too many people can do. 
just because like I've been fucking with it for so long and now like I'm starting to master it and shit and like it's gonna get crazy. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, shit. Only get better, better with time. Facts, time. facts, yeah. the more you do it. Yeah. And I try to get better with every song. You know what I'm saying? Like every single song, like every time I go to the studio, I try to make it better than the last one. Like I'm almost a perfectionist out I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ever since <laughs> I know you bro, ain't been that long, like you've been twenty years nigga. Like shit. <laughs> yeah. But nigga, you got some shit, bro. Everything I've heard bro. from you, be like, damn, bro, actually raw as hell. Like, yeah, appreciate it, bro. bro. Raw as hell. Yeah, when I appreciate first you. linked up with this nigga, the song he had was raw as hell. And you yeah, appreciate respect, it. Like with your look, like your sound, it's like, damn, because you look like this regular hood, chill nigga. Yeah. And then you hear you on the music, it's like, damn, bro, he's got vocals, he got lyrics, he got cadence, like the whole, whole nine be on point. Uh, I mean, I try not to give off an image I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I just try to shit, be me, bro. Like, for real. Like, I don't want nobody to think I'm something I'm not I'm rich, none of that, man. I ain't none of that. I'm working, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get to it every day like them. You know what I'm saying? I just shit, feel like I got a chance. I got a voice. You feel me? And a lot of people feel that same way. People starting to fuck with me, so shit. Sure. I'm finna go even harder. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I know I asked you about leaving. You said it might be best for you. Did you pick a spot or do you see a, like a certain spot? LA. LA? Yeah. Okay. Why? Sure. I feel like LA because people like there are just more willing to work. Like it's easier to network, it's easier to connect, it's easier to run into somebody. You know what I'm saying? And especially with like the company I keep, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot easier, you know what I'm saying, to come up on opportunities than it would be for an average person that just go out there type shit. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Um well shit, we uh we got a we got a couple questions for you like that's been going on in the news. But before we get to that, right, um some of your songs I was listening to mm-hmm. and you you act you gotta have it some time to talk about women, right? Yeah. So would you consider yourself a ladies man or you like what? I mean a hundred with you. Like, I don't know, because I don't, like, I don't shoot at females. Like, I'm always the one that get shot at. Like, I don't just shoot type shit, you feel me? But, like, I don't know. Like, I guess that's just, like, my shit. I fuck with it or whatever. But, like. What's your sign? I would say, like, you can't put, like, you can't you can't box me. No, I'm saying, like, what's your sign? Like, it's Oh, my sign. What's that? Um, I ain't really into it. I think it's a Leo. I'm a He's saying, I think I'm a Leo. Nah, for real. I'm born in August. Oh, shit. August 6th. So, like, yeah. That's Leo, right? I don't know the truth. Shit. <laughs> shit, I ain't gonna lie. I just know my birthday. In the See what I'm saying? Know, really a couple more people. That's hey, what I'm no saying. Shit, shit. I ain't really into it. I don't really believe in all that. I ain't gonna lie. What's up, dude? You, 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 um, so you one of them non-believers, huh? I ain't gonna say that. I always say I don't believe, but like, I'm just not into it. You feel me? I don't really care for it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of pay attention to more like reality type shit. Yeah, like yeah, shit that matter type real. shit. It's right now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just see shit different. Okay. Me and uh, the boys was on the podcast um, a few days ago. We was discussing um, your boy Gunner. Yeah. What's your take on him? Like, do you feel like he snitched or you feel like everything cool? <laughs> shit. Me personally, bro, I try not to get his outlet, bro. <laughs> bro, like his silly that show. You feel me? Shit, man. Hey, bro, get your money, bro. I don't never stop no man from getting his money. Get your money. You get no, your no, money. I ain't stopping me to shit. You feel I, ain't, me? I ain't buying no ticket either. Yeah. I ain't gonna stop buying no ticket. You listen to his music? Shit, Look. if they playing it, I, I can't. What I'm gonna do? I'm, saying do, you, I'm saying, do you play it though? Hell no, game. You don't play it. You I play it. Shit off my phone. <laughs> but I ain't gonna sit here and lie. It, it, it slide by, and then yeah. you could be chilling and riding like, yeah, oh, somebody turn it on now. You feel me? <laughs> you no, if, it's, if I'm in my car and it come on, I ain't gonna yeah. listen to that shit. Yeah, but if it, I'm in a club or anywhere else where I can't control their music, I'm not finna. Throw a fit or no hey, shit. Yeah. Man, that C is, bro. Nice, yeah, I ain't that shit. that shit. I don't give a fuck about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep speaking, that. Look, speaking of getting your money, uh, 6 9 and Kodak, <laughs> did, did, did that song? Yeah. Get your money, man. So you taking the break? You would've took that million? 
I ain't gonna lie. Me personally, no. That's just me. Million dollars. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a hundred though. But not taking the million though. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause like anything I make, bro, it gotta be something I like. Like I wouldn't. Me personally, I probably wouldn't do nothing with him. Like to me, it wouldn't sound good. It wouldn't sound like we're mesh together. You feel me? So I probably wouldn't do nothing. Cool. Thanks. Understood. Overstood. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. Look. I got a couple questions for you. Talk to me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Zero or Trey? Zero. For the most, bro. Come on. Okay. I fuck with Trey, though. Shout out Trey. You know what I'm saying? Trey invited me to a video shoot. Shout out Trey. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Devin the dude with a little Kiki. Little Kiki. Outside legend, Southside. Shout out little Kiki. Sauce Walker or Max or Cream? Sauce Walker. Oh. Max or Hard too, though. Got some facts for sure, for sure. Uh, Travis Scott or Riff Raff? Travis Scott. Riff Raff? Yeah. Who the fuck is Riff Raff? Who is Riff Raff? You never heard of Riff Raff? Jody Hot Roller? He from him? Yeah, yeah. I ain't know that shit. I, hey, I think it was a, a, a basketball Only coach at my was middle school. Is P.D. Pablo. I I was a, know. What's his name? Paul Wall. Bro, he was a basketball coach at my middle school. That he posted in the mid. Yeah. What? He got riff off, man. Man, stop playing with that bro. Riff, riff. Nice shot. Fat pad of Big Pokey. Go Pokey. Okay. You like the second motherfucker say a nah, poke. For sure. Hey. Yeah. That's the lyrics. Well, you asked like three times to your second nigga say, I got to yeah. do my homework on Big Poke. Yeah. I got to. You got to do your homework. For sure. I I do do homework, poke. On the female side. Megan the Stag and the Ken the Man. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, Ken. <laughs> Can't hard, hard like that? Yeah. Can't hard. Can't hard for sure. That's my people. I fuck with Ken. Megan hard too, though. Megan man. hard, nigga. I ain't gonna I lie. Like, I listen to listen everything, bro. You yeah, feel me? Megan, Megan, Megan got some shit. No, I was telling she but, cool. but, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and say Megan, bro. I'm gonna say that. I know, But man. I fuck with Ken. Ken hard, though. All uh, right, Cardi B or Megan? Probably, <laughs> probably Megan. Megan? Yeah, nigga, Megan the stag. Yeah. Megan <laughs> hard. Hell, she got man. some shit. I ain't gonna love. I'm no, I'm fucking you. Meg, though. She is she hot, cool. though. She ain't fucking fire. She hot. Cardi hard, though. Yeah. She hard. I got two more. I got two more for you. Paul Wall or Mike Jones? Who? Paul Wall. Shout out Paul Wall. My dog, Paul, Paul Wizzle. My dog. No, I can't say Paul. Why you say Paul Wall? Fuck with Paul Wall. Paul Wall hard. He hard, but nigga, he Mike still, Jones. It, I, like, grew up on, I grew up on both of them. Paul Wall is still, it's still relevant You right feel now. me? Paul Wall, that shit in the rain, some shit. Mike Jones, I drop music, but he ain't really like Paul Wall. And that's going to lead to the last one. Mexican OT or D-Baby? <laughs> D-Baby. I like Mexican OT. OT hard, though. <laughs> I like OT hard as hell. I, ain't, I, ain't never I fuck with D-Baby, though. D-Baby got... He going D-baby up. Hard. <laughs> he going up. Hey, both niggas going up, bro. Some <laughs> niggas doing something like we're like missing me right now. But, like, but, but if you go look at a D baby clip, not them thousand motherfuckers in that crowd singing that whole word for word, I was like, God damn. Yeah, yeah bro, bro, hard. Popping that. Man, hard. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> if you wasn't doing music, what would you be doing? Are you writing? Writing what? What you mean, writing? Music. Writing music. If I wasn't recording you, somebody like, I just wasn't doing music at all? I'm saying, if music was taken out of the equation, what would Jaden Taylor be doing? I'd probably be doing sports or something, bro. Yeah. Hopefully. You know what yeah, I'm saying? If I kept my head on, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? But, never know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know you might want to be on some fashion shit. Nah, I, I ain't really into that, but like, I probably will get into it. You feel me? Like, I 
I probably will get into it and shit. I don't know. Probably just not right now. I don't know. I'll be more so like in the shit that like I'm into right now, like at the time type shit. Like, well, that's what I focus on. Then, like, if I want to explore the shit, then like I get into it type shit. Like, get my do my homework on it and shit. So, is it is it anything that you want to leave to the youth or give to the people that are out there watching? Just don't never give up. And like whatever you're trying to do, no matter how hard it gets, like don't ever give up because like you can win tomorrow. Like literally, like don't pay attention to like views. Feel me? Like whatever it is you do, bro, like perfect it. You know what I'm saying? Master it. You know what I'm saying? And put it out. You know what I'm saying? And push it. Push it till you can't no more. Like. That's like the best advice I got to you. If you oh, want to do something, even shit, if it's like sports, you know, writing, like anything. cooking, anything, like don't give up on it. Not for real. But back like into this music thing, like what's like your creative process behind it? Like for me, I don't know, like. I got this like thing where like anytime I'm writing to someone like I even the beat made me feel I could take myself and whatever I'm talking about I could take myself back to it like I'm talking about and feel that same moment put it on the song you know what I'm saying so it's like creating it is like the funnest part like the best part for me like into that mode like in the mode I sit in my car you know what I'm saying I get high as Jesus. I sit down, I smoke. I get high as Jesus. <laughs> I just write. I write. You know what I'm saying? My writing process, like, they have, like, the beat, um, the beat start. Like, I seen some people, like, they'll write, you know what I'm saying? And they'll keep writing as the beat going. Like, me, everything I do, I start over, like, from the beginning, all the way. You sleep like a lot of noise, man. Oh. What's that? I was trying to keep it down. Now you're gonna hear what you make a lot of noise. Like, <coughs> coughing. Like, we gonna be trying to hear him, okay? Maybe you ain't noticed, but I'm definitely, that's why I'm like, tap him, tell him to keep it down. He ain't see it, but I've been trying to tell you. You have, all right, all right, all right. Have you ever, like, uh, performed anywhere? Yeah. What places have you, like, performed at? <clears throat> um, there, Warehouse Live. Um, I'm not good with places, bro. Um, I performed all over Houston, bro. Like, yeah, Houston, like, yeah. just just Houston or, like, different states or cities? Let's see, I performed What idea, other I, states? Oh, Austin, I performed in Austin. Um, side by Southwest? Nah, I didn't do side by Southwest yet. You ever uh, been there? Yeah, I've been one year. No, I'm saying like on some music shit, like, or you, or you went to watch it? I went to watch it type shit. Okay. I ain't ever just like, I don't know, I don't just really be doing crowds and shit, but like, I know you need to as yeah, well. You feel me? Like, Not nah, even really though, because. I don't know shit. But I know like I know that South by Southwest is like everybody. So it's different right. crowds. People come from all over the world basically. Right. 
So performing now, that'd be hard. Like nigga, be like, right. all of a sudden you get a message on Instagram, a nigga from Europe. Yeah. Like, well, you was just what the fuck? <laughs> like shit like that. Yeah. No, that's live though. I might top that to the next one though. For real. Okay. What's your favorite song to perform when you do perform? Mm, that's true. That's I got this song right now called Life at the Dark. It's going crazy. I like to perform now. It's out everywhere. Platforms, all yeah, platforms. Everywhere. Everywhere. Right. All right. You ain't, uh, normally we don't do this. I've been thinking about it though, bro. Um, do you got any bars that you can drop on him? Any bars? Like, bars, some maybe shit? a quick 4, 8, 16, some shit that just nobody heard that we can't find, but some shit that's just hard. I sure got a whole bunch of shit. I don't know when you say you got 250 songs, I'll be listening. <laughs> be listening. Yeah. I don't know, all my shit ain't like, you feel me? Exclusive, huh? Damn, no. Like, you damn ain't got to, like, just hear it. It's like, it's more, it's more gonna, of a vibe. More of a vibe, more of a, like, I don't know, you just don't, you gonna understand it. Well, see, I'm gonna need you to be ready next time because in a second, we gonna go to, um, we gonna get on some sway shit. Yeah. Out of that beat. Yeah. And whoever wanna, you feel me? You get ready. Go crazy one time. Yeah, I fuck around. For real, I'm though. I'll make you do it. All right, definitely not how you on the part, too. Yeah. How you like? How you feel like the, the internet affecting the music like industry type shit right now? I feel like the way it's benefiting it is like numbers speak louder than like talent. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, you know how that shit go, bro. Nigga, be honest. Hey, I'm gonna oh, say it. Cause you can be trash as hell yeah. and blow up, <laughs> and niggas yeah. they gonna overlook yeah. the niggas with the talent. Number though, I do talent right now, but it's like you can't sit down and you know what I'm saying. You got to give up the program for the show. You know what I'm saying. So if you, really want, if you really want to do this shit, you know what I'm saying. You got to find a way to make it work for you. You and know what I'm saying. And put the footwork in. Exactly. You do that, then you can get to what you really want to put out. You oh, know what I'm saying. What you got the attention. Right now you got to feel with the program. It's not wrong with that shit. You got to make it true. Don't come out being somebody that you're not. For sure. Yeah. You know so that's what separates a lot of shit too. You got to be on some funny shit. If you do like uh, 22 Savage. That boy yeah. came out like 21. 21 shut that shit down. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 22 <laughs> Savage was what's the name? Funny Mike. Funny Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funny as hell. Nah, for real. Okay. You um, yeah, I'm fucking up. I know hey, that's another question we had. That I had some questions. We can really end it because it be like at thirty something, thirty something. Okay, let me just let me just think of what we We did a tough one. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you did do everything. I'm going Well, shit, motherfuckers, definitely appreciate you, bro, coming out, coming out, fucking with me and Smoke on rare occasions. Um, hopefully, we get you on the part two, man. Do you do you have anything up in the works that's coming soon? Thanks, like? thanks. I got some shit. Uh, I think you're ready to drop real soon. Uh, I ain't gonna say what it is, but. This one gonna have a couple features on it. I usually don't drop shoot features, but this one have a couple features on it. Oh, the whole tape. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Another little project I just drop. You know, I just drop some shit off the deep end. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. That, that bitch going crazy out everywhere. For sure. Um. But yeah, this next one gonna be a uh, gonna be different. It's gonna really like raise some ears and some eyebrows. So. Y'all gotta tap in with. Me. Where they can find you at? You can go to Instagram. I'm here, Jaden Taylor, J A D A N, period, T A Y L O R. Uh, Twitter, J A D A N, T A Y L O R underscore. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't really be on that nothing. I don't really bad to be on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
You know what I'm saying? Once again, bro, appreciate you coming out. Definitely going to see you again, gang. Appreciate, appreciate you, my boy. Hey, I hope I hope we get you on our podcast, too, man. man I hope y'all get me on that motherfucker, too. Ah, for sure. Bullshit. Ah, for sure, for sure. Appreciate you, man. I'm good.